guys so preparation for our move we have retired the 96 geo that we were driving around went ahead and picked up a uh, 99 tahoe uh, i'll take you outside take a look at it just had to do some work on it. I had to get in, well i didn't do any work on it. i had to go uh get some new more aggressive all-terrain tires for it and oh yeah i put our cd player in that because it didn't come with a radio so let's go take a step outside all right there she is like i said we had to get some newer tires the other tires were fine but i wanted more of a aggressive tread these are all terrains and of course i like white lettering now this is a 99 model guys so it is not brand new it runs very well though it is four wheel drive uh, tomorrow or this weekend, I will be attaching our Z-Moon lighting that I did a review on. We went ahead and ordered some more. That way I can hook it up here. I got the wire and harness in today, so we'll be doing that. So let's uh, take a look inside. My wife was just doing laundry, so there is laundry in the back back there somewhere. Yeah, back there. All right, so let me get up in here. Let me turn this pink paper around because it's got my address on it. All right, so the center console, as you can see, this is put on. It did not come with the actual center console. This thing here is actually plywood that they've actually wrapped with this texture plastic and this cloth on the side. Same with the center console. Okay, so that did not come factory, of course, but it is sturdy, very nice. The seats are Silverado pickups. They are electric. They slide up, slide down, sideways, every which way but loose. Okay, so, of course, I put in the uh, CD player. That was a pain in the rear end, I'll be honest, because this thing only has like 10 or 12 wires. When I looked down inside this thing, I had probably 30 wires, so... Nothing was marked. I had to figure everything out. This here doesn't, since it did not come with the original center console, I had a wire in, a USB, you know, cigarette lighter. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be using cigarette lighter, but this will also work with our navigation system for our GPS and stuff for the vehicle. So I wired that in, put a temp uh, fuse on, run that in. You can probably see a little black wire there. This is just something you slide in, but I don't want to drill holes all in everything, so that's just Velcroed on sits right there so that way we're still able to charge our phones and everything like that uh, yeah we do have four-wheel drive high low regular so that was a must I had to have that um, yeah I mean it's not bad you won't believe what I paid for this thing I actually got a great deal um, we have one of our groups here has a friend that is a uh, sheriff's officer in leesburg okay so we had to run up to leesburg um sorry to the ones that are in leesburg right now i didn't get to give you all a shout out but you know i was going to stop in and uh say hey to some people but i was afraid that may have been creepy if i did that but anyway he's got a friend that owns a uh, used car lot so we got this so being that we were able to go through a friend and they put in some contact with a guy that had this. Sorry, guys. I know this is a little shaky. I'm in the vehicle right now, so I don't have my stands and all that good stuff. Um, we got this truck for $1,500. Yep. It is the V8 350 5.7. Um, you know, it's not geared like the 350s I had back in the past. I mean, I had some muscle cars back in the day. But, you know, it's, it's actually a very nice interior see right here they, I don't know what's up with that I mean this ain't supposed to have like a guard or something but the guards are missing but you know it's just sturdy so yeah everything works um, like I said $1,500 went ahead and my tires were 500 bucks with um, insulation balancing all that good stuff so yeah works pretty good like I said guys this is our first bit we have to do a lot of things in stages everything oh there's the the geo in the background i've got a guy coming over here now uh, one of those uh, pay 
they pay you to tow it away and you know they resell it or sell it for scrap whatever I think they told me I can make $25 off of it I've had a lot of other people say hey man you should probably sell some of that you know needs a vehicle to drive I'll be honest with you that vehicle there is on its last legs I go through a quart of oil a week and that's driving in town um, a lot of the mechanic stuff went behind when I got injured I mean, even the alternator went out and I had to sit there and work on that change out the alternator and stuff so I'm not I'm not giving that to somebody to be a money hole that thing that car back there the little geo is not gonna last all right I already know that is and I'm, I'm a good mechanic and if I'm saying this thing's on its last legs I can't do any more with it that should tell you something I usually wear out anything I have before I go get something new and this isn't brand new I mean, this is a 99 model but it's something I can work on um, so yeah like I said we just got our wiring harness in for our lights you know this little plug-in light um, Oh, it's got a switch. It's not a plug-in light. I got it's got a relay and the fuses and all that stuff. I got that on Amazon for like ten dollars and change. That way I can hook up. I did show those Z Moon uh, light system that we had. They used to be on the side of the house. Those are packed away, but I did have some more come in, and those will go on the truck. So hopefully this weekend I will be able to get to mounting, running the wires, and everything. Also, more news is that this Monday. The wife and I are stepping away for our little vacation. Uh, we're going to be gone for a week. We're not going to be here. Um, don't worry, we have people watching the house, especially after this last break-in on all the vehicles. Um, so yeah, we will be bringing you guys with us. We're going to, uh, I guess I can go ahead and tell you now, we're going to St. Augustine. I think that was it. Not St. Augusta. I think St. Augustine, I believe it is. I don't know, I gotta look at the map. Wife says it's a great historic thing. I think it's like the first city founded in Florida. Um, so yeah, she wants to, you know, see Florida before we start moving away. I am not revealing the location of where we're going next, as far as we are going to somewhere before we go out to Wyoming. We're gonna winter out there first. We tour thaws out, then we're gonna move to Wyoming. I'm not giving that away just yet, guys. But we are fixing to go on vacation. And I'll be honest with you guys, this has been a very long, rough year and some months. Um, my wife had to put up with a lot of stuff, alright? With me being injured, it was tough on her. Okay, it was tough on me from the injuries, but, you know, she's a strong woman. She stayed with me, guys, so. Um, and she's a, good, she's a good girl. So, going on a vacation so she gets to uh, spend some more time you know near the beach and see the historic sites things like that she wants to do i have no problem with i'm glad i'm able to do that so yeah we're going to do that and looks like second week of january is when we're going to leave florida i had some issues with my bank here i had a i had a camper lined up we were going to go tomorrow and go buy it well that didn't work out uh, i already talked to the guy he called me this morning said, yeah man i'd love to see you on friday come on out I was excited about it I said alright called my wife say hey um, she was doing laundry I said hey I just got some information what to go try to use my online banking and they said my accounts closed yeah I have a bank account I use Seacoast Bank here in Florida it's right down the road from us well when I went to go cash my check my settlement check like I said guys we've been living off of majority of our uh, savings okay plus a little workman's comp insurance checks that i was getting while i was hurt now everything's settled they finally cut me a settlement check well if i took it down to my bank they're going to hold it for 10 days so my lawyer said just take it down to my bank they'll give you a little a little percentage of it up front and they'll cut you a cashier's check you can take to your bank that we have a little little money to play with sounds good went down there oh no we can't do that we can't cash this check or even give you a little bit of it unless you open up an account and that is sun trust yeah so we did it all right they gave us two thousand dollars up front we went and bought this truck like i said we only paid fifteen hundred but we had to get the title tags all that good stuff changed over and today i went to withdraw money so that we can um go buy that camper my account been closed they are mailing my check for my finances seven to ten days from now and then when I get it I've got to go back to my bank and wait ten days for that to clear 
So, banking industries. This is why we usually keep cash on hand. We deal with our silver. When we can afford gold, we do. And we got a dealer right down the road um, here outside of Popka. That's about 12 miles to it. Um, that we usually deal with gold and silver. All right. Anytime I've got to exchange silver, I take it to him. Because I've actually took it to a pawn shop before and they try to screw me over. Um, as a matter of fact, the last time I went to go take some uh, silver in, I went down to the local pawn shop, which is just a couple miles from my house. Everything's still sealed. I still have the receipts from the company I purchased from. So usually I buy from JM Bullion, but then I got involved with an affiliate program. And I've been buying through them because it was my affiliate program. So I went in, and he's looking at it. He goes, well, what do you want to get for it? I said, as close to spot price as I can. Well, yeah, man, I, I, can't, I, don't, I can't do that. Usually I deal, when I'm dealing with a pawn shop, they always sell, they always buy from me $3 under spot, all right? Now, my guy further down the road that I just started using, he gets me close, like within a dollar, okay, which is awesome. But anyway, long story short, I'm arguing with him. He's arguing with me. So you don't understand. I have to hold these things for a month before I get to sell them. I said, one, you're lying to me. I said, you're dealing with precious metal. There's no serial numbers on these things. I've got the receipts right here where I purchase them. So you're BSing me. And then he lowballed me. He tried to buy it eight dollars under spot price. Okay. And what? Yeah, it ticked me off. I'm sitting looking at his gold and silver collection. He's got. I have the exact same silver rounds that he's selling and he was selling them for $32 a piece spot price at the time when I sold that silver was just a hair under 18 and he's offering me 10 <laughs> no I might be a dumb country boy but I ain't that dumb alright guys so this is the uh, the Chevy Tahoe that we picked up let me take you outside it does have a uh, setup for the trail and everything so let me run out there and show you all that right fast all right so we got some rain coming um i'm gonna try not to get my license plate here so yeah it does have the receiver and of course it already has the plug set up just a little three with the ground so i don't know that's coming in or not five thousand pounds ten thousand pounds all right, the towing capacity of this thing, of the uh, Tahoe itself, is a 7,000 pound towing. So, you know what, a camper is really not that, that much. So, yeah, guys, let me uh, show off that power. All right, so, got ourselves a brand new battery already installed, which I already checked all that stuff out. The filter's brand new, the spark plug wiring's brand new same with the distributor distributor cap and rotor button is brand new all right the air condition does work um i got a spot over here for another battery but i don't have that so this is a small exhaust leak somewhere and i've been underneath there looking at the exhaust manifold i did not see it there so i am guessing it's probably in the y pipe or something like that is where the leak is but yeah, you know, it's still a very nice engine. It responds very well. That does not focus for some reason. Well, it says 5.7 liter. I don't know why I can't get a focus on it. But yeah, truck's working very nicely. We've been taking it out. Of course, I've been going through it, making sure it all works very well. I know some people don't like Chevrolet. I like them because they're easy to fix for me. I have no problems working on them. So yeah guys, this is the truck. This is the one that we will be taking to Wyoming. Um, like I said, we got a good deal on it. All right, there's some minor things that I may have to work on, things like that, but for the rest it seems pretty sound, all right? So anyway guys, I will let y'all go. Um, you know what, as far as the camper that we are looking at, there might be something wrong with it you know the whole thing with the bank issue that i just recently had um you know what maybe that's something telling me that that camper was not there that was not the one i needed 
so yeah we are still in the market for that we're looking around i got a couple buddies looking in another state especially the state that we will be going to um trying to set up something out there too if they come across something reasonable and uh we'll just u-haul everything out there if we if we need to so anyway guys y'all take care and enjoy yourselves and we'll speak to y'all later